Podcast. Welcome back to the show. For the next segment, we have a very special guest in the house today. Another Georgia Southern alumni. Hey, girl, Georgia. Hey girl. <laughs> <laughs> Alexis Hightower, better known as Lex, or the creator and the founder, the owner of Urban Essence Hemp hey. CBD brand. Hey, girl, welcome to the show. Hi, it's, I'm so happy to be here. It's been a long time coming, that's for sure. You know that. You know that. <laughs> yes, but I'm Kendra. happy to be here. I am a fan of the show. I'm definitely a listener. So yes. 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 Yay. We We're glad it. to have a listener in the building. Right. Yes, so I just want to let people know a little bit about your background before we get to the reason why you're here, the brand that you're pushing here. You have such a different um, nine to five, so I just want to <laughs> let the people know what you do. Girl, I do a lot of things, <laughs> <laughs> but no, for real, I'm, my nine to five, my corporate job, I am still, unfortunately, in corporate America. I am a civil engineer by trade. Mm. Um, been working in the in engineering field for about six years now. Um, venturing, I just got my real estate license, so be on the lookout for that. That's Girl, where the money was at? Give me where your number, so you, I need to study with you, okay? I was trying to get my real estate license, girl, and it's I could tough. not it's pass tough. that claim. We will talk about But yeah, doing real estate on the side, and then, of course, Urban Essence has been something I've been working on for about two years, really, um, and really just relaunched this, this month, um, this week. Even more so, and now that I'm in the city, I know we like to smoke, mm. so <laughs> that's where I went with the with my my Urban Essence brand. Awesome. Absolutely. So you transitioned from, or you are planning, because I know that I know this off air that that you are, you know, eventually transitioning out of civil engineering completely. But mm. that's such a different, that's such a broad like change. So what brought you in your interest to hemp? Um, I think my interest started with marijuana itself. <laughs> we'll Keep it a cannabis. thousand. We'll call right. it cannabis. Um, part of the, uh, I guess cannabis was introduced to me um, probably most frequently in 2008. Okay. Um, I was in college like everybody else. Mm -hmm. um, but I found it was something that definitely helped me cope with a lot of things. And not that I'm, you know, was dependent upon it or anything like that, but um, I definitely became an advocate for it. I believe in the ben the benefits of, of cannabis, mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to get into something that I knew could make some money. Um, as we know, this industry is through the roof. Right. <laughs> Very yeah. lucrative. Maybe not yet in Georgia, but we're working on it. Yes. We're going to ask you it. some questions about that, too. Yeah, so for sure. So that that's what led me to, to cannabis is just being a A legal board. trapper. A legal trapper. There we go. A legal <laughs> trapper. Don't tell her that. Legal trapper. I, now we're going to see that under... Underneath Look, the boot. I really Make it feel a like that when I be rolling these up. Like right. <laughs> Legal trap. So can you give us a debt? Like, can you help us break it down? Like, what's the difference between hemp and, like, THC, marijuana, and, you know, CBD? Okay. So we'll start with the overall umbrella being cannabis, the cannabis sativa plant. Um, we mostly know, like you said, marijuana. Um, but we also have hemp. And this is hemp. It looks like it. Smells like it. As a matter of fact, the chemical formula between marijuana and hemp is the exact same. Hmm. You know, back in chemistry, you would write out the, let's example, H2O. Her it ass is smart same. as hell, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> she go. I mean, I just feel like it's no, important let for her, let her, let yeah, her, Go let ahead. Her, Please, because she teaches me something. I go ahead. Yes. Yes. Interrupt the teacher and shit. <laughs> so so we'll, call them, we'll call them siblings, if you will. <laughs> you know, a lot of people call hemp and marijuana cousins, but the chemical layout is just one component or structured differently. Mm. Same components, they just look different when you draw them out on paper. Um, the main difference being that this only contains 0.3% THC. And when we talk about THC, that's the stuff that gets you high, that's the psychoactive property of marijuana that we know and most love. Right. Um, so it doesn't get you high, this is hemp, doesn't get you high, but you still get a lot of the medicinal benefits from it. Um, great for anxiety, pain, uh, insomnia for a lot of people, appetite, that sort of stuff. Mm. Um, all of your daily stresses, it kind of will have have some some type of relief or benefit for you. Interesting. Mm. I know Ooh, that's right. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, do you do you can you tell us the difference in feeling for you as far as uh, like if you were using it for anxiety, okay. basically. Mm -hmm. So if say for example, I have anxiety okay. and I wanted to you get a THC version of the sativa mm -hmm. versus the C B D version of the sativa, mm -hmm. like what are the like what are the effects of it? You so you're asking, asking how, for a how would you feel and difference? Yeah, okay. yeah asking cool. for a friend. Okay. Um have you ever smoked marijuana before? The friend. It's the or friend. We, we, for a friend. For the friend did. Yes, okay. the friend has friend is a freak. <laughs> and the smoker. friend has a lot of kids. Okay. Um, <laughs> they like to smoke to, uh, cause you know people with kids like yeah. to smoke to ease their mind. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, um, 
I can imagine that's a lot of stress. Uh-huh. Yeah, so especially anxiety, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and I know the cycle, we just talked about mental health. So mm-hmm. sometimes, you know, you can be tripping off the right. THC versus the CBD. Mm-hmm. Right. Might be a nice switch for my friend. Absolutely. I think your friend would love um, these young flowers. <laughs> <laughs> so so like you, you asked about the, the main feeling or difference in feeling for me is going to be that head or body high, if you will. Okay. Um, where you're feeling kind of spacey, kind of floaty. I don't necessarily get that when I smoke this, but I do feel like a overall, I, I tell a lot of people, um, it's like your body taking a huge sigh of relief. Mm-hmm. You know, just like, you know, the day is done. <laughs> I'm relaxed. I'm chilling in my bed. I'm smoking one of these. It's a good time. But okay. not only that, you know, if I were to come in here or if I felt nervous today, I probably would have smoked one of these and just mm-hmm. chill out a little bit. Okay. Awesome. So I have a question for you, Lex. So are you like, is there anyone in your circle or anyone in your friend group, your family, is anybody involved in this? Or are you like the first person that you know that has taken this venture and, and done the research and now to create the oh, business? Absolutely. All me. <laughs> and it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. And, it, you know, you asked me what got me into this space. Um, but, you know, in doing research and trying to figure out, hey, how do mm-hmm. I get into this industry? I found that there really weren't a lot of, especially a lot of black women right. in mm. the space. Um, and so I really just had to take the reins by, you know, on my own and say, hey, I'm going to venture out and do this. Mm-hmm. Um, now there are more and more people starting to come out in the woodworks and we, they have a lot of groups and social groups that you can join and kind of talk things out. But really, there's there's no blueprint. Mm-hmm. You're kind of cut for this, though, because your 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 regular trade, you are a minority in a workplace and you find a way to thrive there too. So yeah, it's, it's crazy nice. how, how <laughs> and excuse me for uh, having a, a duh moment, but what exactly is civil engineering? Um, so a lot of people, when they hear civil engineering, they think about, I think they probably get it confused with architecture. Mm-hmm. Um, so for building, building examples, <laughs> when you, de- when someone designs a building, a civil engineer is looking at all of the things that are going to be inside this building and making sure that it can withstand wind for example okay uh, architect's just gonna make sure that it looks nice <laughs> yeah so so we have to consider all of the loads people standing on every floor on, on, you know in a building the furniture that you're putting into it um, but it further goes into bridges roadways um, I do a lot of construction work on on with um, Georgia DOT mm-hmm. um, so a lot of bridges and highway building infrastructure I'm involved in that as well the big legs mm-hmm. big legs don't play with her Better not. <laughs> yes, for the flex. Right. <laughs> I'm so just playing, y'all. <laughs> Appreciate it. Flex on them. It's fine. Right. So tell them a little bit. You you gave us the background about the industry and, you know, exactly what, what this product is. But tell us a little bit about your brand, Urban Essence, and, you know, the pun on urban and all that. Like, yeah. give, us, give us a tea. Yeah. So, you know, um, they like to consider us, and when I say us, I mean black people, as urban. I'm um, being urban. Um, But I kind of play with the name a little bit. Obviously, this is an herb. I hate when people say herb. Um, The H is silent. (laughs) Or the L in salmon. Yeah, Yeah. salmon, not salmon. salmon. Okay, (laughs) I be doing too much. Just to grab my gears. (laughs) No, but Urban Essence is all about, our tagline is elevate the culture. Um, And when I say elevate the culture, it kind of comes from a lot of different places. Um, One being elevate our people in the community because marijuana does have a negative stigma attached to it. Absolutely. So wanting to elevate our way of thinking when it comes to the plant, um, elevate in ways that in terms of alternative medicine. So by no means, this is a disclaimer, um, Urban Essence does not claim to cure any illnesses. (laughs) But, you know, I'm not telling you to go against your doctor if he prescribes you with some medicine. But I do think people should consider more natural options medicine yes. yes yeah yes even for me like little things that you go to the doctor for you would think you know once they prescribe you with it then you getting other things you right. getting yeah. side effects mm-hmm. i ain't come for that i came right. for this yeah. so but now I, more recently i'm trying to like okay how can i do this myself that's yeah. the right. beautiful thing um i feel like in quarantine for whatever reason it seems like our community has really turned into really doing their research and heavily getting into holistic healing right I um, love it. That is, that is really beautiful. For sure. It's crazy. All of the things that, that are that are developed in the world can literally be remedied with the with the materials that the earth provides. Mm-hmm. But we get ourselves, you know, caught into quick fixes and medicines. And it always leads us to something else. I mean, honestly, yeah. I won't even take a Tylenol unless I just like am out of it. Me too. I try my best not to. And now, I've oh, gotten there. Yeah. Not me. Even I got to pop me a pill <laughs> for these headaches. I have gotten it. You know, <laughs> I got a I got an oil. I'm I'm gonna put you on an oil. 
that okay. you need. introduce me to yeah, that or learning new things yeah okay. for headaches and like uh did you say cbd oil no it's oh, okay. it's just like a oh, like an oil mixture that oils. um yeah of essential oils but i've really turned to that because i in in me seeing so many people turn into holistic things and i have a close friend he's like my brother um he created when he created his um CMOS business and he was you know putting me on to some of the holistic things that he has been doing for years mm-hmm. before it became popular I just decided you know like okay well let me see you know right it, how can I make some changes in my life and and what can I do you know to to start getting into those types of rituals and things as well and so one of those things was for me to lean away from the medicine mm-hmm. I made the decision to get off of birth control and just allow my body to naturally do what it's supposed to do um so you yeah. feel like that's working out better for you I I will say um I, I really do I think like I was telling each with the oils um I use like it's a mixture of like peppermint oil and, mm-hmm. and something else but like you could smell the peppermint. That's that's the only thing that's coming to mind right now. But I could, I use it for a headache. I'll rub it on my temples if I'm having a headache, okay. and it'll oh, help wow. with that. Yeah, girl, um, spill the tea on that. And girl, then I, sure. when I'm cramping, you know, when it when it's that time of the month, I use it on my uh, stomach area, or I'll rub it on my back if I'm having lower back pains, mm-hmm. and, and it works for me. I don't know if it work if it works for anybody else, but yeah, definitely willing to put anybody else onto it. Mm-hmm. And you saying that you you cannot guarantee that your product will relieve menstrual cramps. Uh, headaches in the above. So like. the FDA, Federal Drug Administration, tells me that because they have not fully approved it, mm-hmm. um, that I cannot make any claims to very specific, like you said. It, to me, menstrual cramps, that's not anything specific. When I say specific, I mean like... Um, you've been diagnosed, you've been with, diagnosed cancer with something or right. something of yeah. that large yeah. scale. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I got you. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, I, I have had some customers who... Um, have been battling cancer, um, Mm -hmm. and I will speak to, I originally started out doing CBD oil. I just felt like the market for that was completely washed. But when I was selling oil, she was my number one customer, and she did tell me and even showed me results of her doctor saying, hey, whatever you're doing right now is working, and you're going into remission. I with love that. Cancer. So, oh, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's, well, we need the FDA to come on and uh, right. stamp you know, yeah. that. You gotta be playing, though. If you got Girl. the receipts, but be careful about the receipts. You see how they took out Dr. Sabi? We're going to protect yeah, you. Yeah, we are going to keep you protected. We're going to have the goons at the door. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so Urban Essence is more than just the the CBD brand, but it's more like, you know, like you're ev- elevating the culture in many ways, too. I know you dabble in, you know, event planning as well. I just want to shout out a really successful event that we had a few years okay, ago. True. Yes, It was real successful because guess where I was at? Where? Lake Lanier. <laughs> And nobody, nobody, uh, nobody. I died. just felt the dark cloud coming to the room. Right, exactly. <laughs> just, Look, because I'm like, everybody was like, you gotta nervous. get on the boat. I'm like, girl, girl. We all, I, I had them sign a waiver to say, once you set foot on this boat, you're not setting foot off this. Boat. I, I know just, what they mean. No, it's Britney for me. Oh mm-hmm. my gosh, it, it's, totally- it's Britney for me. Dang, Faroon, stop calling. <laughs> Again, Rennie. Again. Again. Look, look at, look at Rennie shaking his head. <laughs> I wish we had a camera that could point out there. It's Rennie Brittany. is tired of us. It, no, he's tired of <laughs> it's, it's tired The name of, of the shit. episode is It's, it's Brittany. Brittany. It's, it's, he is tired of my it's shit. Brittany. And I'm tired of my shit, too. Please excuse me. My apologies, Lex. <laughs> Just rude. And rude. So nasty. So, na- so rude. <laughs> to it. Put that in there. So nasty. Yes, right here. So, so nasty. nasty and so, so rude. rude. <laughs> Please again. We did have a successful boat party. Um, I definitely want to do that again. Um, different late. Yeah, yeah. Different, late. <laughs> okay. different energy. <laughs> it was great energy. That that's the thing. It was it was really great energy. But we definitely can't go back now after. It's nah. been too much going on. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's gotten pretty close for us for, for home. But um, but yeah. But you know, there's also. I mean, like. I would love to to collaborate with you and do something like that again. I know we had talked about doing um, an event where we had like the. Um, you know the the drinks, the signature drinks. You know, creating that that environment, that uh, that atmosphere where, you know, the vibes are present. So definitely, definitely would love to have you because we're trying to have a live show soon. Well, you could set up at the live show. We've been I waiting on that. it. Now, that are would you be ready nice now? because you, it would Good. be really cool because to have the guests, like entrepreneurs that are on the show, yes. come like Ooh. be vendors at the event. Yes. Because if you've been listening to the show, if you know, you, you know, then you know the uh, you know you've been you probably wanted to try the product. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And now the product is in your face because you came to the live show. Bam! I think that'll be dope. We're just gonna put that on Britney tab. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna lock in. And for it, we're for gonna sure. have you there. 
Okay. For sure. So, um, yeah. So how, how are other ways? I know we are in a green rush. How are other ways that, that blacks and minorities are getting involved in the industry? Because it's crazy because this is the industry that, you know, has, in, has incarcerated, has been the cause for incarceration of so many of our, of our brothers. Absolutely. Um, and, and that's another part of Elevate the Culture that I want to, you know, expound upon and find ways to kind of empower people. That's one of my um, pillars that I, that I found this company on. Um, but if you don't want to be, you know, not everybody wants to touch the plant, as they call it, be a plant touching entity. Um, but everybody needs marketing. Everybody needs branding. Um, you have people that are simply just, you know, making packaging. So there's a lot of different ways that you can mm -hmm. be involved in this in this market. Absolutely. Yeah. Will we be able to find Urban Essence in some of these CBD stores that are popping up? There's some That's in crazy. downtown. Stone, yes, downtown Stone Mountain. They're just... And if you if you look around closely, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot of CBD up. spots that's pop, popping up, especially mm -hmm. in Lithonia. Mm -hmm. It's a couple. Mm -hmm. So do they have um, flowers in there? I haven't seen. I, I haven't been in. I just okay. look from the outside. Um, <laughs> <and> <laughs> on the pass by, like, oh, it's another CBD place. Okay, <laughs> right, right. cool. Going in, uh, uh, because you know, yeah. But I will try to go in and see. Even when we went to the up place, and smoke yeah, or, up yeah. and smoke. They didn't have the flowers out like right. that. They only had like, was it pre rolls? I didn't even really I think see it was anything. Pre -rolls. It yeah. probably was just pre rolls, mm -hmm. but I didn't really see anything. I can see this flowers. being a real lucrative, lucrative season for you since everybody mm -hmm. is back outside. Festival season is upon I can't us. Wait. Yes, one music fest. I'm trying to be on it. Okay, they pop up. come on, right? <laughs> yes. I ain't mad at it. <laughs> I have that in the works. Um, but you asked about stores. That's that's my next my next task is to try to get in as many stores as I can. Um, right now, I'm currently online, urbanessence.com. Yes. The packaging is great. Could you yes, hold it up for the people please. so they yes. can see? And, the camera and right tell here. us about, oh, I love the way yes. you just did that. Just okay. go ahead and promote promote everything you got that? going on right there. What's <laughs> the? Urban Essence, they come in. Actually, you can kind of see a sample pack here. Let me pull, can I pull yes, it? Do your thing. Do your thing. Right your now. thing. This is all cool. you. So one thing about my brand is I started with smoking um, or smokables. I'll call it that. Um, a pre-rolls, just like you would see at your, at your everyday CBD shop. Um, the difference with me is you have options. Um, this one is a leaf cigar. Yes. Kind of like cigar. King Palm. King and it got Palm. a little filter on it. Okay. Filter, corn husk filter on it. Okay, for the King Palm reference. Uh, if yeah. you know, you know. If you know, you know. Um, this is like a traditional pre-roll. You probably see a lot of papers like this. Mm -hmm. um, has, this one has a spiral tip specifically that helps with airflow. Mm -hmm. Can I see that? Yeah, go for it. Let me pass that. And then lastly, um, I'm, this is something new for me as well, but a cigarette filter tip. Oh, cool. and you know, Uncle Biden and them trying to get rid of these menthol filters and things. Right. So <laughs> get you get the same filter effect with the CBD. This is nice, Lick. So do you pre-roll these yourself, or do you I have did. a factory of people that we need to be re reporting on in the next nah, couple of weeks? No I factory. Say cause, cause hey. factory. So <laughs> I, I can, will, are you hiring? I, I can I do my thing power. if um, I need to do my thing. <laughs> I, I know someone that could possibly do you need, Are them. you hiring rollers? <laughs> Let us know to. when you hire rollers. <laughs> no, I do have a, a, a sh machine that I am doing these by hand, but I am doing them all myself. Um, the flowers I source from a couple farms that I work for, work with out in Oregon. Awesome. Um, that's where the flowers are coming from. Awesome, awesome. And there is uh, we need to, we need to shout out to Manisha. She works with the Green Tone. Told Hemp Farm, I believe okay. that's CBD as well, and it is a black-owned hemp farm here in Georgia. Really? They okay. actually just had uh, Senator Warnock there this week at the farm. So shout out to Did Manisha on her thing, but you know, we can definitely work on the back end on that, because that's placement. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. So when you we, we can have that conversation as well. <laughs> Lex, I'm so excited that you came through. This is, you've definitely educated us. Please What's, tell the people where they can follow you. Yeah. Follow me, Facebook. Um, I was about to say Twitter. I'm not on Twitter. Uh, Facebook and You're Instagram. You need to be on Twitter. Especially with this. Urban Just Essence. Twitter. Get back on there. Twitter. Twitter. Just stop that. Hit me up on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I'm, I'm just you. I'm just barely able to manage Instagram. <laughs> I understand, <laughs> girl. When I tell you, once you realize that everything from Instagram is from Twitter, yes. okay. then you Twitter spend more first. time on Twitter. Twitter okay. side it's, first. It's a, it's real. Twitter is real good for getting information out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So Definitely just try it. it. Yes. Well, Lex, we thank you for coming yes, in. Yes, thank y'all for having me. Bringing in this good CBD. Um, and I'm going to let y'all take these home. Dang. Yes. Shout out to you. Wait, I'm here for the packaging. Let as your well. friend try them out. Yeah, for, for your my friend. friend. Yeah. 
and everybody else who did. <laughs> All right, we gonna uh, we'll be right back after these messages, y'all. Keep it locked. Before we go any further, make sure you click the link in our bio or go to eShopandDropStore.com to cop your Nightmare Radio Show merch. As you can see right now, I'm rocking the new Nightmare Radio Season 2 bootleg tee, and you can get yours too. eShopandDropStore.com or hit the link in our bio. Don't sleep. 